everyone, welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we are going to continue finish the eyewear and we're gonna talk about this nose pad or nose piece and also the temple. Are you ready? Let's get started. If you want to know the first part of the eyewear that we made last video for the frame, there's a link at the below description. You can find the first part with the link. Before we build a bridge, we need to know what exactly location the bridge is supposed to be. So you go to the Google, you can type it from human face wearing eyewear. So you will get some image here. What we wanted to study here is to looking at the where the nose piece in relationship with the eyewear frame. So I'm gonna bring up this picture here. As you can see, the eyes is about right here. And then the nose, the tip of the nose is actually aligned with the eye. So most likely our nose piece will be a little bit lower than where the eyes position should be. So this is the eyewear that we had last time. I'm just going to draw a box right here to show you approximately where that nose piece is going to be. We're going to come over here using that box as our guideline and we're going to draw a shape look like this. So this is the shape that we have as a profile on the nose piece. And then we are going to come over here at the front view. Now this time we want to draw something. It's following the frame because you do not want a nose piece to stick it out outside of the frame. So now I have this line. I'm going to turn into the green color. Let's take a look. Okay. So we got two lines here. The way to creating the line that will meet somewhere in between is the commands called curve from two view. And we're going to have this one and this one. Then we will have this curve right there. So that's one thing there. We're going to go back to turn on our eyewear. And then this time, let's take a look at the front view. We need to give the boundary of where that um, line is going to be. So let's go ahead to do something like this. This is going to be where the nose piece is going to locate it. So I'm going to have something like this. Try not to draw outside of the frame. So that way you will have a better control. It's not stick it out from the front view. So we want to have something like this. Now we have the curve like this. We are going to create the surface in between. I first need to give in the profile to see how the other direction is going to look like. So I'm going to use the arc tool snapping from this point to this point, And I'm going to snapping into this arc there. If this is getting too fat, we can rebuild this one into the five point and let's go ahead to make it a little bit skinnier by this way. All right. So now we have this, the way we are going to making into the surface, it's called curve network. We're going to pick up this curve, this curve, this curve, and this curve. So that give us something look like this. All we need to do now to turn it into a solid is cap command and let's turn on our eyewear here. So now we have this one, we are going to have this insert to where the eyewear is. Sometimes if it is not tall enough, you can do 1D scale to make it taller and coming up like that. And all we need to do now is mirror that to the other side. Okay. So now we have those two nose piece right there. Sorry, put it into the wrong side. So let's go ahead to mirror to the other side. And make sure you don't want to copy. So now it's on the right, correct side. Now we need to do the tempo. The tempo that I gave you is a basic shape and you can use that to draw whatever curve that will fit into it the most. Now we have this is already draw. I'm going to move this to this point on the end. So we're going to use the move command. Going to go from here to here. First of all, let's go ahead to creating the surface by using surface from planar curve. Now we have this one with this surface, we can go ahead to edit it by turning on the control point. 
at this point that you don't have much to edit so let's go ahead to rebuild we're going to change to 10 and the 4 make sure you have the point on where the years is going to be so that way you can rotate it right so with this one let's go ahead to make it curve it a little bit by using the rotating tool and we want to rotate it inside a little bit like this all right so you have that piece that will wrapping around your head then we can offset the surface and i want to offset flip to that direction once we offset into a solid we can go ahead to giving a fillet on the edges for one on all the edges okay double make sure that this is a closed solid polished surface here since this is symmetrical we only need to mirror to the other side make sure copy equal yes so now we have our eyewear. I'm going to print this out. So make sure that what we have here is completely flush. Notice that this is a gap right there and then it won't look really nice. So what I like to do is make sure that I have them intersect by moving in a little bit. Now I'm going to have that curve extrude it into a solid straight make sure that cover the entire then we are going to use the bowling difference this one will be difference out from this so that way it will be flush most of the eyewear will have the metal part right here this is a prototype so i need to have it uh, fdm printing with the hinge on so we're gonna make something look like hinge it is just temporary to holding the eyewear together so i'm going to make a tube right here it's roughly going to look like this big the bigger is better for the fdm printing as long as it's not seen from the front view you will be fine and the key is this piece need to be inter intersect with the both of them once this is done i'm going to make a copy just slightly smaller something like this and also draw a box cover entire area and have all of this aligned right in the horizontal center. So first thing that we wanted to do is we want to split those by this box. And we can delete this box right here. I have this color coded that may help you understand a little bit better. What we would like to do is have this red one bowling union to the frame and then have the green one as our temple bowling difference out by those two black tube now we also need to have the frame is bowling difference out by the middle part and then so all we need to do is attach this one to this one but i would like to do is make this part just slightly smaller and then we want a bowling union to the temple the reason I'm doing that is because this is acting as a temperate hinge for my prototype and if I don't have the gap in between it won't fit perfectly we're gonna do the same thing on the other side now you can do additional design like what I have over here and that is for the logo or anything that is going to enhance your design I hope you enjoy let's take a look on the final fdm printing and some of my students work that were really creative and we have a lot of fun thank you and i'll see you next